Good morning or afternoon, class. Uh, today, we're going to jump right back into our vermicomposting lab, all right? So, what we're going to do, first thing that I want you all to do is I just want you all to make some observations, okay? So, I want you all to spend two minutes, come up to the bins. We have our fruit bin on the left, our leaf bin on the right. I want you to come up to the bins, just like so. We're going to take the newspaper off the top. We're just going to come up to the bins and see which one has the most species. All right, which one has the most number of species? Okay, so take two minutes, come check it out, and then write down what you see in the box, uh, the second box on your page. All right, take two minutes, go. All right. Now, what we're going to do, I want you to take a good eight minutes. Let's take eight minutes, uh, and we're going to talk to our partners about the variables that we're discussing in our experiment, all right? So, for uh, just to help you all out, we're going to go over the independent variable. The dependent variable, you need to have at least three. We're measuring a number of things, so come up with at least three of our independent variables, or dependent variables, sorry. And what are our control variables? And just to help you out, I'll give you an example of a control variable. Uh, one thing that we did was we measured the number, the uh, weight or the mass of the leaves, and we measured the mass of the fruit. All right? So that is a control variable. So we're keeping that the same so that we can test other things. All right? So go for it. Good job. All right? Take eight minutes. Now, what we're going to jump into is we're going to jump into some data collection, all right? So, we all made hypotheses about which bin would have the most number of species and which bin would produce the most number of worms, all right? What I need us to do at this point, come up to the front, check out the bins, and one group is going to count the number of red wigglers in each bin, the number of worms. Another group is going to jot down the number of organisms or the type of organism and the number that they see in each bin, all right? So if I was to see a pill bug, also known as a roly-poly in the bin, I would put one. If I saw more than one in the fruit bin, I would put two, all right? That's how we're going to break this down. I want you all to take four minutes at each bin counting and documenting. Let's go. Now, I want you to document or graph, create a bar graph of the population totals that we saw, all right? So we're going to take all of this information, we're going to make a bar graph related to the population totals, all right? We're going to create a key just so that we know what we're looking at. Remember your tails, all right? Take, uh, let's go 10 minutes. Take 10 minutes to create your graph. Go. Now, what we're going to do, class, is we're going to discuss those results, all right? Let's have a good one.